What is cooking guys? Today we are in Brazil. We are fishing for peacock bass or tucanare as they say. We'll get to our spot and I'll lay it out for you. Guys, back down here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, uh, my girlfriend is Brazilian, so I spend a lot of time now in Brazil, between Brazil and America. And so um, here they have peacock bass. But we also might be going for another fish today. Check these out. We have some live bait. We stopped at a tackle store before we came here. They look like big shad to me. And uh, so anyway, we might be fishing for some catfish, some Brazil catfish later. They can get huge here, I mean massive. So that could be cool later. But for now, we're gonna fish for peacock bass. All right, we're gonna make the first cast of the day, guys. And then I'll show you what lure I'm using. I always gotta announce the first cast of the day because a lot of times, for me, the first cast of the day is the lucky cast. Well, nothing. What I'm using today is this Lucky Craft pointer. And last time I was here, I caught a lot of nice peacock bass on this one. So I have a bigger version this time than what I used. So hopefully we get a, a big peacock. Look how fast we're ripping these baits, guys. This is more aggressive than... Oh, got one, got one. More aggressive than... Oh, oh there's a toy. Oh, shoot. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, this is more aggressive than anything we fish in the States. It's like as fast as you can jerk it. That was like probably a pound and a half bass. Oh man, and there was another one following him. Oh shoot. Oh, oh, oh. berserk, he's got one, guys. We've got fish on. Second, second fish of the day. Oh. Look at that, it has blue fins. Like really blue fins. That is cool. That is really cool. <laughs> nice. That is way cool. What a beautiful fish. These things are just savage, guys. They just crush. That is a cool. Keep or release. Free? All right, we're gonna let this one go free. <laughs> oh, and Missouri has another one. Two casts in a row, guys. I couldn't even get the camera back on. Nice peacock bass. I think this one's different. I think this is different than that blue fin one. Um, I don't speak Portuguese yet, so I can't ask him, but I'm pretty sure I'll look up that later. And I guess I should have done this earlier, but this is Mazurki, for you guys who don't know, and he uh, is my girlfriend's cousin, and he tournament fishes, peacock bass tournaments and all that stuff, and this is Rafael, and he's Mazurki's friend, and they uh, and they do tournaments and all kinds of stuff like that, so they were kind enough to invite me uh, fishing with them. Oh, 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 oh. guys, Rafael has one. Oh, nice, nice. Oh guys, nice. Oh, that's another one with like blue blue on its fins. That is so cool. <laughs> nice. Look at that jerk bait color. Is that, uh, is that Keeler or Mega Bass? Mega Bass. Mega Bass. Jerk bait. Missouri he has another one, guys. Ooh, that was a nice jump. Come on, Dalia. Come on, 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 come Oh, come on, let's see if we can get doubles. Dois. You know, while I'm holding the GoPro. <laughs> holding the GoPro and... Oh man, that's a beautiful fish. Looks like they're gone. Shoot, there's like a whole school of them down there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. Amazing. Guys, yeah, we're I think we're in the middle of a big school. Oh, 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 that's a good one. That's a good Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Okay. Oh, would you? Okay. Okay. 
aqui, ó. Vem, vem aqui, vem aqui. Ó, oh, nice, nice. Vem, vem, vem pra cá. Dá, dá link na minha mão. Calma, calma, que ele não tá lá, não. Tá na ponte? Não. Nice. Uh! That's a nice. Pega o pé seu, mas vou medir só. Look, essa é a hump on the head, I think, from. Oh, and it just came off. And it has a, I think that's like a male peacock bass or something like that. Vai colocar no viveiro? Nice. Oh, got one. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, man, you just crushed it. Oh, that's one. It's the hump on the head. I forgot what that means. <laughs> oh, nice. First peacock bass of the trip for me. Macho. Uh, uh, Macho. Macho. Oh, wait, man, uh, um, man, man, man. Menino or menina? Menino. 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 Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, menino. Oh, menino. Okay. Obrigado. All right, guys, this is a male. This is a male. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It has that hump right on the back. That's a male. And just crush that lucky craft pointer. That is a beautiful fish. That's, that's actually kind of ugly on the head, I think, but it's a beautiful fish. So I grew up in Idaho. We have a lot of smallmouth, and I thought those fought hard. It's it's not even a, a peacock bass could kick a smallmouth butt any day of the week. Guys, it's like 95% humidity out, or 95 degrees, 100% humidity. We work close to the equator, obviously, in Brazil, closer. So we're gonna all we're all taking a swim right now. It's just it's like unbearably hot. Yeah, in piranha infested, infested waters. E o peixe hoje já não tá mais manhoso, você tá pegando ele porque eu puxo no rápido. Aí, ó. Oi, esse é esse. Tá forrado de peixe. Oi. Forrado Amarelo. de peixe. <laughs> another one of those males. Here's another one with that hump on the back. Gorgeous fish. This is so much fun. Uh, are we gonna... Eh, Mazurki. Oh, Call me or eat free. I'm gonna let this one since this is one of those males that they seem to want to let go. I'm gonna let it go too. Oh, oh. 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 you just gotta escapó. Oh, ah, that was a good fish, guys. Ah, peraí, tem look, que trocar a garateia. Ah, abriu. desmontou. Vê se abriu. Não, my guys, a garateia deve estar... Because my reels started coming loose for some reason. Because that peacock bass just bent out that hook. So we're going to change out the hooks on these. The, the original trocar hooks on this mega bass, they're too weak. We're going to replace them with these heavy duty uh, treble hooks. Way, we, got we got something here. What do we have? Oh, it's a huge one, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, guys, this is a huge one. Oh, and, it and it's a male, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that beast. Ah, No, 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 I just got done changing the hooks on mine. That I probably had a big one on, guys. Check out. I mean, look at that. That that the one that I had on before just bent that hook out easily. It's probably a fish like this. That's I didn't know we had to change the hooks. I'm learning something every time. I have to change to heavy duty hooks when you come to Brazil. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a beast. Wow. <laughs> They're going to record it officially for their phones. A prancha, que pertinho do condomínio. Três litrinhos de gasolina, hoje já dois, três. É um machão, olha o tamanho do bicho, coisa mais linda. 
50, Man, 52 centímetros. Fechou. Pra vida. He literally kissed that fish. Aê! É nóis, valeu, Lamão. Não. Let me hang it. They don't do that here in Brazil, I don't think. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, here's my new and improved jerk bait with heavy duty hooks. Did not know you had to change them out to heavy duty hooks, or these peacock bass would just straighten them out. Um, new lesson learned every time I'm out here. I'm still in that newbie stage of learning, so. <laughs> it's crazy because sometimes it was clear water, we can see them come, and like, you know, you can't outrun these fish reeling in. So it's like they're. They'll be going all around your bait while your jerk bait's going crazy underwater. The the peacock bass just keep darting around it. They could eat it at any time, but it's like they're just checking it out. Trocaisk. For Trocaisk. Change. All right, guys, we're gonna change Precisa. something. Precisa. Guys, he's gonna change something here. We might be going to get catfish. Catfish. Oh, we're gonna catfish now. Sweet. Uh, so they're looking at the depth finder now and. Uh, and they, I don't know what depth we're at, but they, they found what they, they found what they wanted on the bottom. So we're gonna, open, we're gonna open up the live well here. There we go, guys. Nice, these look almost exactly like a shad. Oops, oh, 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 lost him. A nice, lively little can oh, candidate there. All right, guys, so we're just doing a simple bottom rig here. We got a little sliding sinker and a uh, swivel and we got a piece of live bait hooked through the nose on a basic bait hook and we're just drift fishing not anchored or anything just drifting around all right guys so now that we have the catfish and lines down let's do a giveaway courtesy of this video sponsor runkle as one subscriber put it it's like your dank uncle only it's runkle they sent me some power braid. Guys, the thing about this power braid that is so amazing is that Rumble makes so many affordable products and this power braid right here for 300 yards is only $15. 15 bucks. And if you guys use braid, you know that's very inexpensive compared to some of the other brands out there. If you get a 300 yards of, of line of great braid for 15 bucks is fantastic. If you're on a budget, definitely check them out below. I will put a link to them in the description. And while you're there, make sure to check out all of their other affordable fishing things. I'll put a link to Arungle's website down below. And then be sure to do two things. Share this video and then leave a comment below. And I will pick somebody randomly it is totally random from the comment section so even if you just subscribe to my channel uh, you still have a chance of winning or even if this is your first video and you're watching it uh, it's totally random make sure you leave a comment below and share this video and you'll be entered into the giveaway check out Runkle down below let's hopefully catch some catfish all right guys we're gonna try something oh, crazy here um uh, well, they have the catfish in lines. Yeah, they have two catfish in lines, and a third one's just kind of getting in the way. So I'm gonna let them fish for those, and I'm gonna cook up a little peacock bass right on the boat right now. This is as fresh as it gets. All right. Here is our fish. Yeah. <laughs> We got a couple beautiful peacock bass fillets. Now let's get the stove out. All right, so we set up our little portable stove here. We got the gas, we have the stove. We will turn on our gas. Well guys, this is a sad day. Look. I have no butter in the butter tin, I totally forgot the butter or mandega as they say. So uh, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. We're just gonna use, um, yeah, we're just going for it anyway. I have some Cajun here, uh, surprise, surprise, and some salt. We will add some Cajun to it. You guys know I love Cajun. If you watch my channel, put a link to this stuff. This Louisiana fish fry is my favorite. 
gosh, I, I don't know how I feel without butter, guys. I'm butterless. I'm being butterless is like being soulless or something. We're gonna put some salt on it, of course. Salt. Vou pegar um pra mim, não vou pegar pra você não. Não, mano, pegar dois, faz tudo. Você tá fishing the bait out of the live well. And of course, before it's done, we gotta take a piece out. Mmm. That is really good. Oh man, guys. This is so much fun. A, a big day of fishing. And get to cook it up fresh right on the boat. And trust me, it tastes way better. Like when it's just minutes from it like this fish was alive less than five minutes ago turn that on beautiful what is there? Mm -hmm. you want to try just grab it <laughs> half a head no no gosta mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he, um, uh, I just asked him, does he like it? He kind of likes it. May have, uh, sometimes the Cajun seasoning isn't for everybody. I think Rafael likes it. Rafael does it, dude. He does. He likes it. Guys, check this out. We have a major storm coming. And so we are going to head back home. It's been a great time. Yet. So we have a ton of cool videos coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.